In this SkyCat tutorial, you're going to learn how to use some of the navigation tools. Usually, a particular component will appear more than once in a project. For example, components will appear on the schematics and the parts list. Looking at a particular component in the parts list and trying to find that same component on the schematics can be tedious, especially in large projects. With SkyCAD's navigation tools, you don't have to waste time searching anymore. For our first example, let's say you want to see a list of all the field components in the tree view. Select the project, click on the Show tab, and select Unlocated Components. Now we have a list of all the field components. Let's say I want to look at PT1 in the schematics. So instead of flipping through all the sheets trying to find it, just select it in the tree view, click on the Home tab, and select Navigate. And there it is. Maybe I want to see PB1 next. Select it, click Navigate, and there it is. Selecting the components in the tree view will also highlight the components in the schematics, provided you have the relevant sheet open, and vice versa. Selecting components on the schematics will highlight them in the tree view. For the next example, let's say we want to find the coil for this contactor, C1. We can either select the symbol and select Navigate, or simply double-click on the cross-reference text. In both cases, a window will pop up listing all the places in the project where this contactor appears. If we select them, a preview will be shown. Representations in panel layout and single line diagram are included. Let's select the result with the coil and click OK. The sheet with the coil is displayed and the coil is highlighted. In the case where there are only two instances of a component in the project, no pop-up window will be displayed. The other instance will be navigated to immediately. For example, let's take Pilot Light LT1, select Navigate, and here we are. This means that there are only two places LT1 is shown in the project, the symbol and the panel door layout. Let's navigate back to the symbol by hitting F2 on our keyboard, which is the default shortcut for Navigate. Off-page references, or OPRs, can also be navigated to which is very handy when trying to determine where a circuit is being fed from. Simply double-click the cross-reference text of the OPR to navigate. This is where the circuit is being fed from. As we can see by the cross-references, this circuit is feeding multiple circuits. As you may have guessed, if we double-click on this cross-reference text, a dialog box lists all the OPRs linked with this one. We can preview them and navigate to the one we want. Now, let's see how to navigate from a component on the parts list to the schematics. Just select the component and click Navigate. If we open the I.O. list, we can also navigate to a particular I.O. on the schematics in the same way. You will also find Navigate in the right-click menu. For our next example, let's navigate terminals from the schematics to terminal list, and vice versa. To navigate from a terminal on the schematics to its position in the terminal list, simply double-click on the terminal. As you can see, it has been highlighted. Now, we'll select a terminal from the list and navigate to it on the schematics. Remember, there are three ways to navigate. From the Home tab, from the right-click menu, or by pressing F2 on your keyboard. For the last example, let's open the project wire list. If you've purchased the advanced license, this lists all the wires in your project. You can navigate to any specific wire from here. The navigate feature is always there when you need it. Keep it in mind and you'll save yourself a lot of time. 